Now, how to prevent uh, migraine? Migraine is a chronic disease where are, uh, the headaches are bound to recur. So, there are certain indications when we have to go for preventive treatment, especially those who have recurrent or two or more attacks in a week. When the headaches are very severe, they are very prolonged, more than 48 hours, if your headaches are more, uh, more prolonged, they, do not, they are not responding to various treatment like uh, even triptans and ergot medicines are not effective. Sometimes people, certain people are not able to tolerate these medicines like um, triptans, they, can, uh, they have an underlying coronary artery disease or a peripheral vascular disease, you cannot prescribe them. So what to do? In these patients, you should start preventive treatment. Certain patients have a chronic headache, daily headache. No, and uh, the most of the analgesic they have already tried. So, that in these patients, you should uh, suggest uh, certain preventive treatment. And uh, lot, lot many drugs are available. The, the reason why the, the number of drugs are available is that not, not all of them are effective in every patient. So, it's a highly individualized therapy. One has to identify the comorbid conditions and then prescribe accordingly. The most commonly being uh, beta blockers or propranolol which are very commonly used and uh, they can be safely used except in those who have asthma and underlying coronary artery disease. The second group includes calcium channel blockers like flunarazine and uh, verapamil of which flunarazine is more commonly used. The common problem associated is excessive sedation initially and weight gain. Weight gain is a deterrent for most of the patients especially females who are not willing to take this medicine. Then the third group which is the most important is the anticonvulsants uh, that we are giving to these patients of migraine. Among all the anticonvulsants, certain medicines like sodium valproate, topiramate, lamotrigine and levercetam has been commonly prescribed and studied in patients of migraine. Of all these, topiramate has been found to be most effective in chronic refractory migraine as it is effective in inhibiting the central sensitization which is responsible for refractoriness of migraine. So, topiramate is a good choice in those who are not responding to other medicines. Then there are certain antidepressants as they are often patients who have migraine as coexistent with depression and anxiety. So, in these patients who have coexistent uh, depression or anxiety feature, they can respond well to various antidepressants, the commonly prescribed being amitriptyline. The chronic daily headaches often have associated tension headache and so amitriptyline is a good option in these patients.